Welcome, my name is JC, and today we're going to showcase Dunmeg, the second dungeon in the new Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers expansion. Just like your last dungeon, you'll follow the path until you run into the mobs and continue on this path till it leads you to the first boss, Anek Thon, Lord of the Lingering Gate. Thon's first ability is called Candy Cane, where he smashes the tank with a mallet causing moderate damage. Tank mitigation should suffice for this. He follows this up with Hydrofall, a circular telegraph that does AoE damage. His third ability is called Lapping Leap, where he puts a circular telegraph somewhere and jumps to it, causing landing damage to anyone inside it. He then stomps on the ground, causing small, swirling pools to appear throughout the arena. He activates these pools by stomping the ground again, causing them to erupt upwards, causing damage to anyone close to them. From here on out, it's rinse and repeat until you get him down. After clearing some more trash mob, you come to the second boss, Grayal. His first ability is called Swing, a conal telegraph that can easily be avoided. His second ability is called Timber, in which five seedlings drop to the ground and shoot a beam at the boss. Each of these beams will increase his strength and growth. As I'm sure you can figure out, all you need to do is step in between the beam and him, and this allows you get the buff leveling the playing field once again. However, beware, if your party does not stop enough beams, the boss could get enough buffs to be able to wipe the group. From here on out, it's rinse and repeat until you get the boss down. After a few more trash mobs, you finally make it to the final boss, Lake Lord Anakthon. Thon's first ability is called Crippling Blow, in which Thon hits the tank with moderate damage. As long as the tank uses damage mitigation, you should be fine. His second ability is called Virtuosic Capriccio. This ability causes room-wide AoE damage to all players. Healers will need to be ready to heal everybody back up to full, because he will immediately be going into his next ability, Imp Choir. As in previous dungeons, just look away and you should be fine. He will follow that up with his next ability, Toad Choir, in which he will put a fan-like poison on the ground, and if standing in it, you will turn into a toad. He will then follow that up with Finale. This ability will kick back the entire group, opening up the floor between you and the boss, only leaving a small walkway for you to navigate through to the other side. His final ability will activate when you see him say for you, I will play a Song of Terror, at which time he will turn himself into a Shade of Fear. During this phase he will shoot Corrosive Baal toward players and use an ability called Flailing Tentacles, where he will place circular telegraphs on the ground and do AoE damage inside them. From here on out, it's rinse and repeat until you get the boss down. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe to help out the channel. Until next time, guys, have a good day.